Carolina, thank you so much for watching. Before we start, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today's video is going to be an eyeshadow look, an eyeshadow review tutorial. I actually got my hands on this little mini palette by Essence, Essence Cosmetics. This is the Dancing Green Eyeshadow Palette. I picked mine up from Ulta and I saw this and I thought it was so cute, especially because it's like a little mini palette. And also it was super affordable if you guys have never tried Essence Cosmetics. They are a very affordable brand, super affordable, but they have honestly one of my all-time favorite products that I use. But I wanted to pick this up and try it out for you guys. And I really did like this color story, so I did use this palette for the eye look that I'm wearing right now and I love how it came out. And if you guys are interested and want to see how I achieved this look right here using this little mini palette by Essence, just keep watching. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So I've actually already done this side because I didn't really know exactly what it, what I wanted to do and I didn't want this video to be super long. So I came up with this and I really, really like it. So have the little palette right here. This is the only palette that I used on my eyes. I didn't use any other um, shades from any other palette. And again, this is the Essence Dancing Green Eyeshadow Palette. This is so cute, it like fits right on the palm of my hand. It's so tiny, it's 0 0.15 ounces, and it comes with six different shades, as you can see. Look how pretty this is. So, so cute, and this is such an affordable palette. Essence is such a great affordable brand. I've used Essence products for years and they're one of my favorite brands from the drugstore. I picked mine up from my local Ulta, um, but I really love their products. They have like one of my holy grail products that I use like all the time in my collection. Hopefully this lash doesn't keep popping up, but it's me. I didn't want to glue them down completely because I'm just going to take this off as soon as I'm done. It's pretty late, um, but I still wanted to film this quick little video for you guys. I am just going to be focusing on the eyes for today. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera. Okay, so I just did my eyebrows really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes, and I've been really loving the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. It does remind me of the P. Louise face. So I'm going to take a Morphe brush, M173, and I'm just going to prime my lids. Now that I prime this lid, I'm going to go into the mini palette. And it comes with two mattes, three shimmers, and this shade right here. It's not a matte. It has a little bit of a sheen. I feel like this is going to be like a good like brow highlight or inner corner highlight. So I did go in with the shade first right here and use that on my crease. I'm going to do the same thing. And this was the only shade that really gave me like a hard time applying. It was a little bit patchy. Um, so this one is like my least favorite shade from the palette. But I mean, it still made it work. It's just, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a tiny bit patchy like right on top. Um, so this shade is not my favorite, and I thought it was going to be a little bit more brown, but it's kind of like a um, army green, like a dark green. Um, so I kind of just tapped it in on my crease, just like that. I don't know if you guys can see, it's already getting like a little bit patchy. But still not bad for this palette being so affordable. And Essence always has sales on Ulta. So pretty much like that. As you can see, it's a little bit patchy. So not my favorite shade. Um, but we are going to cover up most of it because I'm going to be doing a cut crease today. And uh, for a cut crease, I am just going to take a little Q-tip that I have right here. And I'm going to take some micellar water, have some right here. 
and I'm just basically going to cut the crease, try to get it as even as I can to this side. I am going to take the primer again, the Juvia's Place primer, and I'm going to carve this out. I'm going to take the same brush that I used that shade for the crease. This is a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH31. And I'm going to take that dark green shade right here in the middle. This shade is gorgeous. And I'm going to apply that right to the outer corner, just like how I have it here. I'm kind of just placing that right here. I'm not full on blending this. I just want it to stay right in the outer corner. Just like that. So I don't want it to go too far in. I want to keep it like right here. I'm going to blend it out slowly up. Just so I can kind of blend with the crease Now I'm going to take this brush. This is a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH41. And I'm going to go into this beautiful shimmer shade. This green one on top. And I'm going to add that to the center. So right here. This one's really pigmented. I see that so beautiful. So just like that, and I just want to be careful with the top part. And now I'm going to go in with this shade up here, and I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of add that to the inner. Look how beautiful that shade is. And again, just being careful with the top. You do get fallout, but I don't mind. I always really start with doing eyeshadow first rather than the um, rest of my face. So I don't mind that it is giving me fallout because I can just quickly wipe that off. And I'm going to go back into this brush and kind of just blend this out. And again, just where they meet. Just so it can look a little bit more seamless. For lashes today, I am going to be using the Salon Perfect Wing Dummy Collection. Looks like that. I love this lash. It's like one of my favorite lashes that I have. So pretty much just like that. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup and we'll come back to do the bottom lash line. Okay loves, I am back. I finished the rest of my face makeup. So we're going to finish up with the eyes. I already did the bottom lash line for this one. I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to take this green shade right here and I'm just going to add that right on the lower lash line. So right here. And just blend that out. And I'll show you guys this shade since it's the last one that I didn't use. I'm just going to add a little bit and just put it right in the brow bone. So I think this shade would be good for that, for the brow bone. Okay, love, so this is going to be the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and me testing out and trying out 
this eyeshadow palette by Essence, which I have right here. I did really enjoy it. It's super affordable. It was easy to blend, easy to work with. They're pigmented, creamy. Again, the only shade that I really had an issue with was this one right here, but all other five shades, the shimmers, looked beautiful. I really love how this look came out, and I will leave a link to where you can find this palette. Again, I picked mine up from Ulta. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link to that down in the description box below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me trying out this palette. Let me know any other videos that you guys would like to see here on my channel, any fall videos, Halloween videos. Let me know your requests down below. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.